Hi there and welcome to my channel. This is Kate. Um, I'm a beginner journaler from Australia and I'm very early on my journey but I've been so encouraged by um, all those people who've said just go to YouTube, that's where you'll find your community, that's where the home um, of creators is and already in the last week or so I've, I've learned so much. So I was also told just to try and relax and um, just make and talk to myself as usual and try and forget that the camera is on. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've been busy today um, building um, my ephemera, I believe it's called, um, for my journals. I've got a little one going at the moment here. It's it's in its early stages um, and I have my usual mix of fabrics and stories etc in here but I'm going to need a lot of bits and pieces to go in and make these um, pages come alive so that's today's project I'm going to see how we go with um, adding some pages and making some um, more ephemera. I suppose part of this journey as a beginner journaler is to sort of find out what things you like doing um, and discover your personal style. I don't know what that is um, yet clearly and I can see that I'm already um, growing in my understanding of the things that I like. So I suppose if if I'd be interested, can you see what I like already? Um, but this pile that I've made this morning I suppose gives gives a clue. Um, I'm a musician. I trained to the Conservatorium of Music. So music is something very close to my heart. So when I am making journals, very um, close to me will be a pile of um, vintage music pages. Um, and I'll just take little bits of that manuscript or even the listings and and add them in so old music paper features i love um, these neutral tones um, i've shared before as an australian the colors of our landscape uh, come out in my painting and my blodging and making a splotty paper and all of that but very much this these are the colors um, that i relate to and look for um, when i'm collecting my papers um, as bases and the other thing that I really enjoy is story um, and big journals are stories in themselves but I do love to collect old books from the Reviver Centre and rescue them. This is a huge um, French dictionary that will take me um, a long long time to get through but I love using the treasures of that text and then I suppose if one was to analyze, I like butterflies. So this is a digital that I printed up out. I either fussy cut or use that as a little symbol. And the other thing, when I start creating most days, the first thing I do is, is sit down and put together a strip um, of my scraps, which happen to be scripts. So um, I find that's just a lovely creative um, place to start. I never know what's going to come out but these end up being chopped into belly bands or small decorations um, along the way. So um, here's a little example. I think this will end up being a pocket where I've got some of my strips just onto card. Um, here's, oh, oh the other thing I love is, is using fabric because texturally um, that is just so satisfying for a journal card. There, yeah, this one is a combination of all those things, manuscript um, and some, some fabric and some messy ends. One of my own um, paintings, bits and pieces. So look, that's today's pile so far. And I thought, why don't we have a go? I'm going to try and be brave really and, and see if I can manage to actually create something knowing that the camera is on. So let's put those away, have those there and I think I'm just going to start um, just the way I do. 
going to tear up some strips and think that they might be tags. And here I tend to end up with some um, square journaling cards. There's a little bit of that manuscript and I'll just make a few bits of strips out of that. Let's, let's start easy and get some butterflies. So the world of digital tools is, is very new to me um, and I, again I'm just still discovering that but in terms of being able to um, give a pop to your page or really um, yeah have that contrast of colour that we need um, I'm, I'm loving these and I have joined um, a, a, a gathering on YouTube where you can access many of these um, just regularly and for free so pretty basic tag to start us off here so big butterfly on the side let's do that let's have a look go at adding some manuscript it's not quite the right colors but this will be nice and a little bit of French. I don't know about you, but um, I'm finding it harder and harder already to throw a single scrap away. Um, and so in front of me, I've got these huge piles already, um, but they are really precious. Okay, that's too big there. I might make a little cluster down here. Don't need that edge. So a bit of the French, and we'll highlight this this page. That side of the tag, I meant. Cover up all those edges underneath. Press tight. And there we go. How's that for a start? Beginner's start. All right. What next? Keep going on this little series. You can see um, I prefer to tear rather than cut. And pieces. So we'll put yep, that as a start there. And turn it around this way. And where's all my manuscript gone under there? Love has found me. That's a nice little. Um, Lyric. Let's put that on that side. Just tear that. It's amazing when you look at small scraps of paper and suddenly um, a message really comes out <laughs> clearly when you would probably not have paid attention to that before. That's a little bit there and we need one thing. I don't know about you but I'm starting to like the idea of counting how many layers um, I put on and then sort of being in odd numbers. Is that crazy? But three, three or four or five feels um, good. Okay we'll do like that. Yeah, so I can still see the love has found me. Then I need something um, a little brighter to make a little statement in the center there. Wonder if I could. No, that actually that's not bad. We'll do that bit. And a bit of sunshine to add. There we are. Two pieces done. That's what I mean. Once you get into a bit of a 
a roll the time. Um, oh, sorry, I've got a bit of hay fever. I'm just about to sneeze. Very Australian. <laughs> Apologies, um, everyone. Okay, oh, let's fit this to size. This is some sort of experiment I did um, with ink on paper, and there's a little bit of um, a sheen to it. That's a bit wonky. Let's fix this bit up here. some bits. Right. Which bit do we want to be the front? Bit of torn manuscript. One of my favourite things to do is sew around all of these and neaten these edges, but because I'm a beginner, I'm not brave enough to go over to the sewing machine yet. And I don't know how to pause and fast, you know, and start filming um, again. So we will leave that for today. Glue sticking to my fingers. Here's an interesting scrap with a hole in it. So that can go over there and just make that texture more interesting um a little bit of music Here we want i'm a very messy um person so far that's my finished ephemera i'll put that over there and try and keep it out of the way do we need a little scrap of that butterfly scissors neaten it up okay okay that's better all right uh, we'll try a different background now could we make this that one. That's my other tea dyed paper and wallpaper next. Okay. Scrap here. Scrap here. Absolutely everything. Yep. That's okay, and a squeaky chair on top of it. All right, so let's go. I'm thinking that this could be a little pocket, a little feature on the, a page somewhere. So let's put a bit of this nice paper down. What scraps have I got? lying around I love the surprises I was talking about that before. Um, here's wool and cotton written um, 
on that little scrappy bit there. So the story continues. I covered up all my manuscript. I didn't look at that at the bottom. How about we do that? There we are. It's going to be a nice little pocket that we'll put things on. And I'd probably put that on a on a page that already had pattern on it. Oops. Do that again. I just hope I'm encouraging people that we all have our own style and the ways of doing things. All right, that was a pocket. I've got this little bit left. Let's neaten it up and make it sort of into a tag. Got some beautiful paper here. Um, I'd like that little bit in the center to feature, but I think it's going to be too wide, so we'll do another trick that I've. Oh no, it's nearly. Let's let's work that in closer and know that we'll use all these other bits um, as well and it won't be wasted. Let's go to the top there. Rip. And probably there. Blue stick. of other papers and this one nope. that's my fridge actually yep it's like old wallpaper and a bit of French are crying out to go together. No. That's me. I could have been more organized with my pile of scraps. For that aim for that for next time. Always have to have a goal um, and somewhere to go afterwards. Okay. So this is very Kate. Do a little wrap around here. Yep. So again, that's a, a thicker piece of um, brown paper, um, but I like the way that that's bringing texture to it and a little bit of music. Yep. Composed by Queen. I can't pronounce that, but that makes it sound pretty special, doesn't it? So let's let me just cut this down a little bit. And that'll bring our eyes to the top there. That. Let's just trim that like that. Sticky fingers. But there we are. Okay, so how's that as a start of making pieces of ephemera for a little book? So, for example, if I went just quickly here, one of those pieces. 
pieces may end up as a pocket or as a belly band or again as a pocket in this one. I need to add a lot of treasures um, into this so maybe that'll be my next video um, as we see how this little one starts to evolve butterflies are free okay everyone thank you so much for uh sticking with me if you have um as i said just a beginner just starting um but enjoying sharing my journey and most of all learning from all of you see you next time it's bye from kate